Leos. So this reading is a Star of Love reading or Star of Venus reading. Um, and so basically I uh, included the Venus signs in this reading. So this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Leos. Uh, Venus is, uh, our Venus sign is comes through a little bit stronger when we're in relationships. Um, so I wanted to kind of include it in this reading uh, for uh, the month of February uh, since, you know, our love life and what we want and, you know, what happened today is a little bit stronger in our minds. Um, so I wanted to include it in, in this reading this month. Um, and <clears throat> I know you, I hope you guys have seen the other videos and so you know why it's taking me some time to get the videos out for this month. Um, and I appreciate um, all the well wishes uh, for for people because I'm hoping that, you know, everybody's checking out the other videos for their other signs. <laughs> um, so, um, excuse me. Um, and then the final thing is that I hope the readings uh, resonate. And I love the comments that, you know, people are giving me that they really do strongly resonate uh, with you all. Um, and that I'm able to be that clear channel for you. Okay. Um, so, uh, as you guys know, I don't like very long intros, uh, so let's kind of get to it. Um, the layout is a little bit different than the other, uh, readings I do. So the first, um, uh, position is kind of like what you're asking about, um, here in the reading. So let's make sure you guys can see that. Yep. Um, so we have five of cups. Five generally denotes changes. Uh, cups usually talking about emotions. And so with this card, um, you know, you have them looking down here at the three cups that are spilled over and the two cups that are left standing. And so, they, you know, you could be asking and thinking about, you know, your past, uh, uh, or, or past situations and where the relationships just did not work out. Um, and so you're kind of now taking that, um, looking back and going, well, it didn't work out here and here and there. So kind of what kind of future am I going to be able to have um, now with my love life? Am I really going to be able to attract and really have the love that I'm hoping for? Um if you're in a relationship, you might also be dealing and thinking about the past hurts with this person um, and and unable to see, you know, or unsure of the type of future that will come out from here. Um, but as you can see over there, there's that two of cups. Um, and two of cups is always about union and a real strong kind of coming together uh, of, you know, feelings uh, and, and a partnership. Uh, so it's in this card is kind of asking you to turn around, gain some perspective. Yes, the past is done and over with. It was difficult, but turn around and see how beautiful and glorious your future is going to be. Okay. So that's the what. Um, the why um, is the four of pinnacles. So here in the 3D, because of those past difficulties, uh, whether you're in a relationship or uh, just thinking about your other relationships that you had in the past, um, it, you're finding it difficult to invest. You have a lot of worry. Uh, again, that's causing back over there, that five of cups that's causing that sorrow. But either way, there is a change that's going to happen. There is a change um, uh, that's going to happen because they're going to need to change their perspective when it comes to your love life. And that's what they're um, coming out to say in that card as well. So you need to go ahead and invest um, and not have so much of that difficulty, hopefully, um, investing in this relationship. But this is the why. The why the past stuff is coming up is because you're having difficulty investing in a relationship or investing in, um, a, a new connection, uh, possibly. Okay. 
Um, now, the factors to be considered within the relationship, the first card that came out was the Queen of Pentacles. So you have somebody who comes along who um, is emotionally stable. They're loving, they're giving, they're nurturing. Um, so they're just basically going to love you all up. <laughs> but um, it's difficult, again, uh, for you. Maybe you don't fully trust it or, or, or whatnot, or it's just so much of that past is just kind of fogging you up and you can't really trust or really invest in the relationship here, despite this person um, giving you this emotional um, stability um, and, and, and loving you in a very real way, in a very practical way. Um, you know, with the, with the queen of pinnacles. Um, and so what you're going to have to do is trust your intuition. And I know it's probably difficult to do that, especially when you have so many difficult feelings wrapped up here, um, is that you're going to have to trust that your intuition is going to lead you, um, to the right person. Now, if you're not in a relationship, I feel like this person is who this nurturing person is going to be is mysterious to you. You don't know exactly who it is, but you have a real strong connection and you can see, um, I'm sorry, you can uh, uh, kind of see a beginning with them. So you don't know who that queen of pentacles is. Um, and so they're the mysterious. Um, now this card sometimes comes out from me when we're talking about twin flame relationships um, and all the abundance um, that lies there and, and the beautiful new beginning that can lie there. But again, you have to kind of trust um, uh, your intuition and your, you know, your higher self and um, understand that, you know, in a way it's kind of the phase. Oh, you do have this moon card down there the moon does talk about phases <laughs> okay um and then their advice oh it's beautiful you have a lot of twos here so you could be seeing um twos two is is a uh, uh a manifester is uh about unions as well when we talk about numerology um and so you could be seeing a lot of uh twos kind of coming up in a, a as the angels are trying to talk to you or, or your spirit guides are trying to get your attention about your, your love life when you're, when you're asking questions about it. Okay. Um, and so, so funny, the beautiful card that comes up here is the two of cups. And isn't that amazing? Two of cups came up in that five of cups reading and it showed up and it was like in the past, cause they were right across from, uh, each other. I, Definitely giggled when that came out. <laughs> um, but anyway, so Two of Cups talks about um, a relationship here where the union is strong. You know, there's a giving back and forth. You intimately and deeply know each other and care about each other. You may be different um, on the surface, but it doesn't matter. Um, be beneath everything, you, the two of you want the same thing. You are indeed the same person. Um, and you have this, this, this strong, beautiful, loving union with another person. Um, and the two of wands also came out with this card as well. And to me, that signifies, um, that because you have the two of cups, you're able to, to see the possibilities. You're able to see the union, um, move forward. Um, and, and become what it is that you want it to be. Um, once you start accepting that two of cups energy in there, you're able to see that two of wands, that possibility. But again, right now, because this four of pinnacles is above that two of cups, uh, and that two of wands you're having difficulty in possibly um, seeing the fact that there is a change in your relationship to bring about this manifestation of this union, okay? Um, and so you have here as a final outcome that Four of Cups. 
See? That now the three cups are standing back up again. And the divine is offering you the ace of cups. But you got to take it. <laughs> uh, so, again, we're talking about changing the perspective, right? So you're still looking someplace where you should be looking, you know, having your focus on something else um, and not seeing the love that's being offered to you. But once you do, it's like, boom, you can manifest it. It's there for you. Just take it. Um, and it, uh, the difficulty can be, because um, I did ask for some clarification, is that this is somebody who um, came back in from a past, uh, either past this lifetime or past uh, previous lifetime. And so some of those old wounds, um, it might be difficult for you to kind of get over. But um, also when this card kind of comes out for me, the Six of Cups says that there's, there is an innocence here again. Um, there is, there can be balance, there can be growth and you can move off, um, into the future. But again, you got to be willing to take that ace of cups. You have to be willing to make that investment, uh, within the relationship and change your perspective. Um, but it's difficult for you because again, you just don't see it. You don't see the person, you don't see the relationship because your past, um, relationships or past hurts are, are kind of clouding you right now, dear Leo. Okay. Um, and so I did pull some romance angel cards. So your first card that your first card that came out was heart to heart conversations, honestly discuss your feelings with each other. So that's how we get rid of that, that fog. So if you're in a new relationship, uh, you know, and they show up, you say, you know, I'm possibly you're having difficulties trying to deal, trying to see them, um, you know, and, and, and move forward with them into this real loving union. But again, if they are that queen of pinnacles, they're going to sit there and understand and listen to you. They're going to be willing again, to be emotionally strong for you. Um, if you're in a relationship already, had that conversation, pour out there what's going on so that the two of you can have a better union. Um, so you can, can really, um, move off into the future together. Okay. Um, and the other card that came out was romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Okay. So this other person when you have that change in perspective and they're in front of you and you have this feeling of, I don't think I can invest because it may be difficult, difficult. It may bring out all the other past stuff. They may be exactly the same. No, they're asking you to explore. They want me so much that they want me to actually read from the book. And I don't like always reading from the book because it's so long. <laughs> But hopefully I have enough time. Um, the stirring within your heart represent the song of romance calling to you. This card comes to you as a guidance to follow the pathway of those feelings. Perhaps you've met someone who made your heart leap and you wonder whether to pursue him or her. But this card says that the answer is yes. Take action by flirting, asking the person out on a date or making your feelings no. Um, if you've recently been longing for more romance in your life, this card is a signal to take charge of making that happen. Um, you can also actively pursue to attract romance. Um, um, and in some cases, you'll receive this card as a signal that you are ready for a new relationship. It then guides you to take action, such as being aware of people you meet who may be potential partners, as well as frequenting, frequenting places where such potential partners may be. Ooh, ooh, now I know why they asked me to read it. You don't see you're ready for the relationship, but still having that trouble investing. Mm, go out there. They're asking you to take that action. Wow. Wow. Isn't that beautiful? Okay, so um, I have some advice from the universe has got your back uh, cards, okay? Your first card is, my faith has the power to turn trauma into healing and conflict and growth. Uh, I'm sorry, in conflict into growth and fear into love. 
Woo, beautiful. And your final card is, my outer experiences are a reflection of my internal condition. Okay? So that's your advice from the universe. Um, I hope that the reading resonated with you guys. Again, I really appreciate your patience. I appreciate the, um, the subscriptions, the comments, the likes, everything. Um, I know maybe sometimes people might get sick of me saying how much I appreciate it, but I want you to guys know every single time, every single video, how much I appreciate you, how much, um, uh, it means to me and that you never feel taken for granted because not that's not the type of relationship that I ever want to uh, to have with you okay um, so I really wish you guys uh, the best um, and please in, enjoy okay uh, the reading and the rest of um, the month uh, or, and enjoy the relationship that uh, it's coming to you or that you were already in. Okay. Uh, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much. Bye.